Welcome to Pawpaw's Workshop, and I appreciate you stopping by and spending some time with me. Today I'm going to give you another quick tip on how to cut glass. Before we begin though, a word on safety. Always, always wear safety glasses. Little chips of glass will fly when cutting, and never ever handle the edge of the glass. It's extremely sharp. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is clean the glass. And again, be very careful with the edges. And you notice my fingers are not going on the edge of the glass at all. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. And we're going to clean the other side as well. And when I'm cleaning it, I'm taking the cloth and a paper towel and rubbing it to the outer edge. Again, I do not want to come this way because if your finger's in the way, it will get cut on that edge of that glass. All right, with now with it clean, let's go ahead and show you the tools that I'm gonna be cutting with. Okay, the tools that we're gonna be using today, of course, is a glass cutter. And this one actually is an oil-filled glass cutter, but if you don't have one like this, that's okay, because we'll take a little bit of oil and just build the dip, that wheel, right into the oil, and it doesn't take much. Okay, so I like to do that. I do have a straight edge that we can mark the glass with to cut our line. And then on small pieces of glass, I do have some pliers that are specially made for cutting the glass. It has this little curve on the bottom and a straight edge on the top. That's only used if you're cutting a very narrow piece. So those are the tools that we'll be using. So let's get started with the cutting. Okay, when using the glass cutter, you want to be able to put downward pressure as close to vertical as you can. I've seen so many different glass cutting videos that show where they're down at this angle. You can't get to proper pressure. So we want to be able to hold the glass cutter as close to vertical as possible. So we're using a straight edge. We'll put the glass right here, have that cutter right here, and we will score it one time. You don't ever want to go back over your cut a second or third time. And you'll hear that little sound of the glass. So now then, the next step, I want to show you with a piece of paper first. <clears throat> a piece of paper is similar to cutting glass in that if this is the scored edge that we just did, the paper will tear along that line starting there and it will rip evenly. Glass is no different. So what we want to be able to do is take our glass and we're going to hold it with our fingers underneath to support it. And these two fingers are going to act as a hinge. The thumb comes across the top and we bend straight down. And by doing that, the glass breaks very, very easily. Now you'll see always on a lot of these different videos where it's a straight piece of glass that's cut. What happens if we have a curve? So I'm just going to make a curve here. Okay, now this is fairly thin, but let's see how that does. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the glass right here, our other finger on the other side, and we're going to break from this end, and there it is. That's how easily it is to cut the glass. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is cutting a very small, narrow piece of glass. So we're going to turn it around. We're going to use this other edge. <clears throat> and I'm going to put my straight edge here, and we're going to cut a very narrow piece. Same thing. We're going to score it, downward pressure, as close to vertical as we can. Now with the score line completed, in this case, I really don't have enough room 
to be able to safely put my fingers here to apply that downward pressure. So in this case, this is where I'm going to use this pair of pliers. I'm going to place it right here at the edge, and we always do it on the edge, never in the middle. I'm going to do it right here on the edge, and it just breaks right off. So again, that's how easily it is to cut glass, even a very narrow, small piece like this. Thank you for watching today. And if you found this video useful, please remember to hit that like button, leave a comment, and please subscribe. Until next time, have fun, be safe, take care now.